biosynthesis of fatty acids in this e lecture we are going to study about the different types of fatty acids various requirements of fatty acid synthesis and the different steps of fatty acid synthesis let us start with what are fatty acid the fatty acid is a carboxylic acid with a long aliphatic chain and this aliphatic carbon chain is either saturated or unsaturated most naturally occurring fatty acids have an unbranched chain of an even number of carbon atoms ranging from 4 to 28 types of fatty acids on the basis of length of fatty acids the fatty acids are classified into four type short chain fatty acids medium chain fatty acids long chain fatty acids and very long chain of fatty acids the fatty acids with aliphatic tails of five or few carbons are classified as short chain fatty acids while fatty acids with aliphatic tails of 6 to 12 carbons are classified as medium chain fatty acids long chain fatty acids are those fatty acids which have an aliphatic tails of 13 to 21 carbons while fatty acids with aliphatic tails of 22 or more carbons are called as very long chain fatty acids on the basis of saturation versus unsaturations the fatty acids are classified into two category saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids saturated fatty acids have no double bond in their carbon chain and the example of saturated fatty acids are caprylic acid lauric acid myristic acid palmitic acid and stearic acid while unsaturated fatty acids have one or more carbon double bond in their carbon chain and the double bond can give either cis or trans isomer the example of unsaturated fatty acids are oilic acid linoleic acid and linolenic acid now where does the fatty acid synthesis occur what is the site of fatty acid synthesis the de novo synthesis of fatty acid from acetyl coenzyme a occur in the cytosol of the liver and adipose tissue in mammals it also occur in mammary glands during the lactation while in plant cells the fatty acid synthesis takes place in the chloroplast because high level of nadph produced during the photosynthesis most of the acetyl coenzyme a which is converted into fatty acids is derived from the carbohydrate via glycolytic pathway now what are the requirements of fatty acid synthesis The most important requirement of fatty acid synthesis is the acetyl coenzyme A. And various cofactors are also required. And these are NADPH, ATP, Mn+2, biotin and bicarbonate. Now what are the sources of acetyl coenzyme A? The acetyl coenzyme A may either be produced from pyruvate or it may be produced by the oxidation of amino acids or it may also be produced by alcohol metabolism now what are the source of nadph the nadph may produced by two reactions first when the malate is oxidatively decarboxylated by NADP plus linked malic enzyme to form pyruvate 
and carbon dioxide, the NADPH gets produced. In the second reaction, the NADPH are also produced in the cytosol from pentose phosphate pathway. And this pathway converts glucose 6-phosphate to ribulose 5-phosphate. By these two reactions, NADPH get produced. Now the steps of fatty acid synthesis. The first step is the transfer of acetyl coenzyme A from mitochondria where it produced to the cytosol. Second step is the activation of acetyl coenzyme A. Third, synthesis of melanyl coenzyme A. And the five step elongation cycle of fatty acid synthesis via ACP intermediates. Now the preparatory steps of fatty acid synthesis. In the preparatory step, the acetyl coenzyme A is transferred from the mitochondria where it is produced to the cytoplasm where the fatty acid synthesis occur. The acetyl coenzyme A itself cannot pass through the mitochondrial membrane. And this transfer of acetyl coenzyme A depends on the transfer, uh, transport of acetyl moiety as a citrate. The transportation of acetyl coenzyme A occurs through the citrate shuttle. This is the mitochondrial membrane. This is the inner mitochondrial membrane and this is the outer mitochondrial membrane. This is the mitochondrial matrix and this is the cytosol. The inner mitochondrial membrane is impermeable to acetyl coenzyme A. Therefore, the acetyl coenzyme A first reacts with the oxaloacetate to form the citrate. And this reaction is carried out by the enzyme citrate synthase. The citrate so formed pass into the cytosol through the mitochondrial inner membrane on the citrate transporter. In the cytosol, the citrate is again cleaved to acetyl coenzyme and oxaloacetate and acetyl coenzyme A is obtained and this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme citrate lyase. One molecule of ATP is utilized in this reaction. In this way, the acetyl coenzyme gets transported from the mitochondrial matrix to the cytosol. Acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase. This is a biotin dependent enzyme and that enzyme catalyzes the irreversible carboxylation of acetyl coenzyme A to produce the malonyl coenzyme A through its two catalytic activity. First the biotin carboxylase and second one is the carboxylase transferase. Acetyl carboxylase Acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase is a multi subunit enzyme in most prokaryotes and in the chloroplast of most plant and algae where it is a large multi domain enzyme in the endoplasmic reticulum of most eukaryotes. The most important function of acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase is to provide the melanyl coenzyme A substrate for the biosynthesis of fatty acids. With the help of this enzyme acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase, the acetyl coenzyme A gets converted to melanyl coenzyme A. Thus, in this step, production of melanyl coenzyme A we studied. The first step in the biosynthesis of fatty acid is the synthesis of melanyl coenzyme A. This is a chain initiation step. The melanyl coenzyme A is formed by carboxylation of the acetyl coenzyme A using the enzyme 
एसिटाइल कोएंजाइम ए कार्बोक्सिलेज वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ एसिटाइल कोएंजाइम ए जॉइंस विद द मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ बाइकार्बोनेट एंड अ मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ ए टी पी इज यूटिलाइज इन दिस रिएक्शन बायोटीन एक्ट एज अ प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप एंड एज अ रिजल्ट दिस एसिटाइल कोएंजाइम ए गेट कन्वर्टेड टू मेलोनाइल कोएंजाइम ए दिस मेलोनाइल कोएंजाइम ए सो फॉर्म प्रोवाइड द टू कार्बन यूनिट to the either to the pre existing chain or to the acetyl coenzyme a and commits them to the fatty acid synthesis in this way the formation of melanoid coenzyme a is a very important step in the fatty acid synthesis and this is the chain initiation step the elongation of fatty acid chain will be studied in our next lecture for further readings i would like to suggest the following links and and uh, some books of biochemistry first one is the biochemistry by asan gupta and second is the fundamental of biochemistry by jain and jain thank you for watching